welcome to my channel if you are new here hello you are spiritually connected with katiba that's for sure okay look you grew up being a parent to your parent you grew up being a mother to your mother you may have grew up being a father to your father this could be your actual biological mother, father. This could be a parent-like figure. This can be your aunties and uncles who raised you, your grandparents. This can be your adopted, your foster parents. It really doesn't matter, but whoever your parent was or parents, you grew up being practically their parent. So we're going to talk about it. Like We're going to talk about like why does this happen like... What was the experience like? And let me know anything that I missed out on in the comment section below. But a lot of times this happened because I find that this happened because um, you usually have an older soul. I'm, I'm not going to say usually, but in these situations, you have an older soul than your parent or your parents. So certain things that you know deep down in your soul, your parent don't know. They don't know. So you have to teach them, like you practically had to raise them, like, and you may still be doing it. Like you may still be telling them what to do or giving them advice or teaching them something or um, just noticing patterns in them that make it feel like you're the mother or you're the father and they're the child. You grew up being a parent to your parents. Your parent, <laughs> your parent, it was like it's like childlike like it's certain things you're like dang they should know better than that but you got to realize your parent has an old soul so they really don't know better than that it's a lot of things that they have to experience just like your soul has experienced a lot of things and when your soul was young you did a lot of foolishness too or you it was a lot that you didn't understand a lot of stuff that you couldn't grasp um this is why sometimes you're having conversations uh with your parent and they can't grasp what you're even saying because they they just really they really can't understand it like they can't understand it on a core level on a soul level um you grew up being a parent to your parent and it may have been rough it may have been tough like teaching them lessons trying to teach them lessons anyway because there's nothing that you can teach them if they didn't get it on their own and they maybe still don't got it um, rest in peace to all the parents that's gone. I, my mother has transitioned on in 2019. And I'm going to be 100% transparent with y'all. I was a parent to my mother. I was a mother to my mother. Like, there were times where I had to be the one who had to figure things out. Like, because she just didn't have it. Like, there were times where I had to tell her... Like, well, I really felt like I was her parent. Like, I'll be honest, when I was growing up, I used to, like, tell my mother off. <laughs> I used to tell my mother off. It's not a good thing looking back, but I felt like it's what she needed. Like, sometimes I had to yell at her and tell her, like, look, stop it. Like, this ain't, like, <laughs> like, no. <laughs> like, no, this is not it. Sometimes you may have to financially take care of your parents. Um, I mean, it's a list of things or why you may feel like you had to be a parent to your parent, but it just, the type of relationship just didn't feel like a uh, mother-child or, or father-child. It kind of felt like the opposite. Like you may have been a parent to your parent in a past life. Like you may have been and the roles have reversed and now things just don't seem right. It just don't sit right. Like they really don't handle the job in the best way possible. But it is the best way possible. It's the best to their capacity. It's the best. It's all that they have to give. So um, you may have grew up being a parent to your parent. And you really had to take on a tough role. Like some of y'all had to raise your siblings. Like I can imagine how tough that was. Um, if you had to raise your siblings, let me know. Do you have kids now? Did that affect your decision on wanting to have kids? Like... That seemed like a tough job when I see uh, people doing that now, um, having their children raise their other children. I personally, that probably would have scared me away. That's all I needed. <laughs> That's all I needed. <laughs> but um, now you grew up having to be a parent to your parent because mentally your, your parent didn't have the capacity to parent you. 
Like it's certain things that you would care about that they wouldn't care about. It, it was non-existent to them, it was not important to them. You may have desired and deserved uh, many things to rub from y'all's y'all's relationship, like or in your household that you just wasn't wasn't getting it as a kid. You didn't really understand like what that looked like, what exactly what it was you needed, but you know that it was something missing. You know that there was some type of structure structure missing. Like, you know, there was some type of discipline missing. You know that there was um, <clears throat> some type of uh, emotional connection with your parent that was missing. And they just, they didn't have it to give. Like a lot of them, they didn't receive it growing up. So it's really tough to break the cycles. Like this is why you were chosen to uh, break cycles because not everyone is strong enough to do it. Not everyone has the mental capability of being able to break cycles. So that's a really like, this is why you should really have some understanding and some type of forgiveness for your parents or your parent who may not have being a parent to give um, because it's tough. Like it's what they see every day. It's what they experience every day. So to do anything outside of that, you really have to go outside of yourself and deep, really the truth is you're not going outside of yourself. You're really finding yourself. You're going within yourself. Like you're being your truest self when you're able to step outside of what everyone else is doing and what everyone else, um, and not care what anyone else thinks because you want to do something different. It really takes a tough person and your parent just, unfortunately, they wasn't that tough. They wasn't built for that. Their soul was pretty young. They were afraid. They didn't have it to give. They wanted to be free. They wanted to be free. So you grew up having to take charge on many things. Like you had to set the, st uh, the standard. You had to set the tone. And if you didn't, a lot of times it just wouldn't be set. So things would, you know, so now you're like stuck in, uh, now you were like stuck in chaos and confusion. A lot of, uh, a lot of us have grown up in chaotic environments. Um, and we don't have to go too deep into what that looks like, but we've grown up in chaotic environments and a lot of times it was a one parent household. A lot of times it was just a lot of things that, um, a lot of influence around that just really didn't make sense to you. Like you grew up being a parent to your parent because you are the black sheep of your family. You are the black sheep of your family. And so you see things differently. You have a different, uh, experience than most others like you see life in a different light than most others so you had to do what you had to do because things didn't sit right with your spirit so you felt like you had to take charge like who else was going to do it who else was going to do it maybe even their parent your grandparent was around they didn't they didn't say much they didn't do much nobody really held uh, your parent accountable, like you were the one, like really uh, taking charge, and you're probably still doing it. You may be still doing it. It may look different now. It may look different now. Now you're able to be cool, cordial, collective. Now you're able to be uh, a friend to your parent. But before it was like, nah, this is business. Like, like before you had to stand on stuff or everything will fall apart. And if you were older, if you were more mature, if you were more wiser, you probably would have done more. You probably would have said more. You probably would have done things differently that could have gotten you all further. For real, for real. It could have gotten you further, but you were so young and you were so naive. And although you have an old soul, your your mind in this 3D, um, was very young so there wasn't much that you can do for real for real but if you were more wise you would have done things a lot differently you would have really taken charge it would have really looked like you was the parent so i guess it was cool the way it worked out like you learned many lessons and a lot of them turned blessings and you know how it is that um you know you learn from that 
and you're part of the small percentage who are breaking cycles and you don't want to do certain things like it's certain things you may do because it is repetitive it is a generational cycles but there are many things that you're breaking cycles on just because of the fact that you had to be a mother to your mother just because of the fact of you had to be a father to your father like a lot of parents were absent a lot of parents were absent it's nothing that they had for you. You grew up having to be a parent to your parent. And for some of you, you still are. It looks different now. What it looks like is them coming to you for advice. It looks like them, like they really want to learn from you. They see that you have something in you. They know that you're the golden child. They know that you're something special. They know that you're something special and... A lot of times it actually it scares a lot of parents off and not just parents but this is what we're talking about in this video it scares people off in general it scares other family members off it scares friends off your energetic field your uh high vibrations like your intelligence it's like you don't even have to go all deep in about what you know you don't have to use big words your intelligence speaks for itself you are very Although you childish, although you can be childish, you are very mature. You are very mature. It screams like people probably was telling you that you got an old soul and you was a baby. Because of the type of stuff that you was doing. You were young having to fend for yourself. You were young having to do things for yourself. Because a lot of times there was nobody around. What else was you? You was on your Matilda stuff. <laughs> you was on your Matilda stuff cooking food and whatnot going to the grocery store like <laughs> you had to tell like you had to go in there in the store and take charge like you was up in the store with the list buying the buying the uh the pepsis and the uh pads like you even started your period <laughs> you was up in there so i mean it is what it is um the good thing about this type of stuff is this is the stuff that people need to really heal from but if you can't first acknowledge it you can't acknowledge what it was um you can't acknowledge it you can't see it for what it is and you can't forgive it then you won't heal from it like it's the past it is what it is it happened there's nothing that we can do about it now there's nothing that we can do about it now but we can learn from it. The one thing that we can do is we can uh, watch how we respond to it. Like, we don't have to still be hurt. And this is how you know the truth if you're healing or not. Like, this video is going somewhere else. But it's very important because majority of the world don't even know that they need to heal. They don't even know that they need to heal. So this is how you know that you are healing from your past traumas and your past drama. You no longer respond to it in the ways in which you once used to. You maybe used to cry about it every time you used to think about it. Now you can smile and laugh about it. Like, now you can just talk about it. Now you don't have ill feelings bottled up about it. Now you're no longer holding grudges to it. This is how you know that you are healing. And we really need to heal. We really need to deal with our stuff. I know someone dares to me. They're in their, uh, in their 50s. And... They're still hurt about something that their mother did when they were a child. I don't know what it was. I don't know. I can't say, oh, it wasn't that bad. But regardless of the fact, they're not dealing with it. They won't even talk about it. They won't even, like, they won't even talk about it. So, you know, they, they still can't stand the person. The person is dead and gone, like. So we really have to deal with it. We really have to uh, acknowledge it. Like you, forgiving is important for you. It's not for the other person. You don't have to forgive them to say, oh, I let them get a pass. Oh, now we got to be cool. But forgiving is for you, for you to have peace on the inside, for you to have love within your heart, for you to not walk around with anger and animosity because that's all you're going to project on the outside for you to feel good. Like in your day to day, to take away your stress and your depression.
forgive your parent. You had to, you had to be a parent to your parent. They didn't know no better. They, this is their life's journey. Everyone have a different life journey. This is what they signed up for. This, this is what they had to do uh, based off of their their karma and things that they have done. So it's not nothing intentional intentional towards you. It's not even intentional towards themselves. Sometimes they really do want to do better. They just don't know how. They don't got the blueprint. Everybody ain't got it like you. Everybody can't break generational cycles like you. Everybody can't. So you don't have, why you don't have to forget, you really should forgive. I recommend that you forgive. Now you're going to do what you want to do. But you grew up having to be a parent to your parent. And you probably still are. If your parent is still here. Or you may have walked away from it. That's a whole nother story. You may have walked away from it because it was too much. It was too much to deal with. And if that's what you needed to do, then that's okay as well. Don't let anybody shame you for any decision that you make, any decision that you have made in the past. I just hope that you have learned from these situations and that if you are a parent, when you become a parent, that you do things that you do things slightly different. Like, I'll be honest with you, with my son, I I noticed certain patterns uh, from my parents. I noticed certain patterns that I'm doing that I push off on onto him. But then I also noticed things that I do totally different, that I do totally different. I also noticed those cycles that I'm breaking. So celebrate the wins, celebrate the small wins, celebrate those cycles that you are breaking. Don't feel bad for doing things similar. Don't feel bad for letting your hair down sometimes. Don't feel bad for needing to break. Even when it comes to your parents, because you've done a lot, you really have. Nobody knows what you have been through. Nobody knows your experience but you. A lot of times people don't even know. They don't even care to ask. They don't care to ask. And that's okay. But, you know, you grew up having to be a parent to your parent. And it was pretty rough. It was pretty traumatic. But someone like you, you're strong. You're a warrior. And you're not going to let that hold you back. This is why you've decided for a change this is why you decided to, how that you're going to heal from it that you're going to respond differently to it that you're going to deal with it that you're going to share it because there's somebody out here who may need to hear it to get through their situation there's somebody out here that may need to hear it to get through their situation so if this video resonate if this video hit different let me know how so if you are new here, I do invite you to hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you to all the members on this channel. I see y'all. I see y'all. Okay? I see y'all. That's all I have for this video. Stay spiritually used. Stay spiritually attuned. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.